Hello, my name's Trudy and I'm a tutor here at Britsent. Welcome back to another video. When reading a text or listening to something in English, you're probably going to come across a word you don't recognise. One way to learn what a word means is to take it apart and thinking about the root of the word and whether it has a suffix. Suffixes are added to the end of a word. For example, hope, hopeless. The suffix less means without and is added to create an adjective. For example, I don't understand this article. It's pointless. This means the article has no clear message or point. Or I was so shocked, I was absolutely speechless. Meaning the person couldn't say anything due to shock. Let's look at some suffixes and their meanings. Er. Uh. Er uh is a suffix added to form a noun, which refers to someone who performs a certain action or job. For example, he is a teacher and a part-time property developer. Or he feels like a prisoner. Two, like. Like is a suffix added to form a noun, which means similar to. For example, he behaves in a childlike manner. Or, wow, this drawing is so lifelike. It could be a photograph. Wise, number three. Again, wise is a suffix added to form a noun. Wise is added to mean in relation to. For example, are you busy work-wise? Or weather-wise, the trip was a disaster. Four, able or able. This is a suffix added to form an adjective, meaning capable of being. For example, it's a lot of work, but it's doable. Or the flower on the cupcake is not edible, so be careful. Five, ish and ease. These are both added to form adjectives to demonstrate nationality. For example, British people love Chinese food. Or, oh, wow. Is that sign written in Vietnamese? E. Again, this is also an adjective suffix meaning characterised by or tending to. For example, why are you so messy and sleepy all the time? Or he is moody because it isn't very sunny today. Would. This is a suffix added to form an adverb that shows direction. For example, move sideways a few steps. Or sometimes progress feels like it's moving one step forward and two steps backwards. Lee. This is our final suffix and is an adverb suffix, which demonstrates the manner an action is completed. For example, he moved slowly and silently. Or we are excitedly awaiting your arrival. So the next time you see or hear an unfamiliar word, look for clues such as suffixes. In future videos, we will look at other ways that you can work out the meaning of words that you don't recognize. Until then, follow us on our Instagram linked below and I'll see you next time.